Hey guys, welcome to Steamboat Springs, Colorado. And behind the camera is Tommy. And I want to thank Bridgestone and Acura for bringing us out here to the ice driving school, Tommy. And today we're going to show you the difference that an all season tire makes on ice versus, of course, a pure snow tire. So Bridgestone and Acura provided us with two different MDXs. Well, the cars are the same, but the tires are different, Tommy. Yeah, that's right. So what a cool opportunity today because we have a new Bridgestone all season and of course a Bridgestone winter tire. And this is a great environment to test out in a controlled manner how these vehicles grip to the snow, to the ice and handle the different terrain. So let me introduce you to the vehicles and the tires. So what we're looking at is the 2022 Acura MDX. Now this one is the A-Spec model as you can see back here. They both have the same engine so V6 power 290 horsepower and they both have what they call shod or SH dash all-wheel drive super handling all-wheel drive so they have this really kind of trick rear differential with a two clutch setup so it can distribute torque left and right. Now the cars may be the same but the tires are very different. Yeah and in this video we're going to show you the difference that an all-season tire makes when it's compared to a pure snow tire uh, and so for that we're going to take some laps around this track. Now the cool thing Tommy about this track is that it's one of the oldest operating uh, driving schools in the country. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, it's been here for well a long time uh, And if you guys want to come out here and learn about how to drive safely on ice This is a really cool place to do it because look at this. I mean, this is as great as it gets in Colorado Absolutely. Now let's introduce the different tires. So this is the Bridgestone Alenza AS Ultra. This is an all-season tire, which means it's a three-season tire, but I was talking to the Bridgestone engineers, and this is a really cool thing. So brand new tire, um, but what's cool about it is that even though it's an all-season, which is mud and snow rated, they say that this tire is about as close to a three-peak snow rating as you can get with an all-season tire. So they've put a ton of work into the traction, not only on snow and ice, but also, of course, on-road dry performance and wet performance. Now, uh, you can cut it off, Dad. That'd be great. Thank you. Um, the cool thing, too, is like, this event is brought to you by Bridgestone, but they were saying in the past they would never have equipped any vehicle with an all-season tire, but the technology has advanced to such a point where uh, the compound, the tread blocks, the siping allows them to run on what is essentially a frozen alfalfa field with an all-season tire. Now, let's go ahead and introduce the winter tire. Now, of course, winter tire, this is not a three-season tire. This is the Bridgestone DM-V2. It's a studless winter tire. It's got a much softer compound as you'd expect in a winter tire. So you wouldn't want to drive this all year round. You wouldn't want to drive this, for example, in the summer, but we can kind of see some of the differences. So let's take a look at like the tread blocking. Now, first of all, you can immediately see just by squishing the little blocks, how much softer this tire is with a huge amount of siping. So you can see these little zigzags throughout the tread blocks. That's what kind of grabs onto the snow and the ice um, and allows great traction on the surfaces. So it'll be cool to see them back to back. Yeah, you know, did you know that actually driving on on ice uh, is treacherous, but when it's covered in a small layer of snow, the ice, according to the guys here, actually uh, bonds with the snow, giving a little bit of traction. So when you're on a surface like this, underneath here is pure ice. Uh, you look for actually snow because that's where the grip is. Uh, and through the day, we actually got to go through and do a bunch of different exercises. So I want to take the cars around and kind of show you what we learned today so that if you're out there in conditions like this, you know how to drive better on snow. Well, you should do that because I drove like a grandma all day because it's not my car or tire to crash. Uh, but let's go ahead and hop on in and we'll do a quick little tour of this fantastic facility. Now, the other interesting thing too is, right, a pure ice, if it's cold enough, is actually pretty grippy. So if it's cold enough and if there's, you know, no moisture on top, it can be pretty grippy. What happens though is like this layer of snow, which is pretty also grippy as well, will start to melt and you get like a layer of water on ice and then you end up with an ice skating rink which is not ideal. So what do you think of the inside of the uh, new MDX, Tommy? I really like this new M MDX. So this is the, what, fourth generation of MDX. Uh, they have sold over a million MDXs. Did you know that over the generations? I did not. It's a huge seller for Acura. Uh, one of the best selling three row SUVs and you can really tell the quality, the fit and finish. The interior is just really nice. Did you turn on my chilled seats? Was that you having a little bit of fun with me, Tom? I don't think so. I think it was one of the, uh, the Bridgestone guys. <laughs> All right, well, you know, the, the cool thing about being here is that we're kind of in a controlled environment so we can 
hopefully, uh, you know, give it a little bit of the beans and not do any damage to any other vehicles. Now, I do have to say, we had a lot of training this morning. It was a ton of fun. I learned a whole lot. But it is incredibly boring to watch from the outside because unless you're running, you know, a, a, a one of those Jeeps with like two inch studs on the tires on this pure ice, it's hard to get a lot of noticeable speed out here. So the first thing we learned and they taught us is that you don't want to do different inputs at the same time. And what I mean by that is you either want to brake, steer or accelerate, but not do, you know, two of those at the same time. Yeah, exactly right, because the tire only has so much grip to give, and it likes doing, like you said, one action at a given time. So um, they said, you know, look ahead and then plan accordingly, but you want to brake and then steer, and then on the exit, as you unwind the steering wheel, you can apply some accelerator. Yeah, and so that's what I'm trying to do here. Uh, and the other big tip, which is really counterintuitive, is you want to look where you want to go and not uh, where uh, you think you're going to go. So let's say you're losing grip coming into this turn, for instance, uh, and you feel like you're gonna hit the snow embankment, what you wanna do is look left to where the track goes as opposed to looking straight ahead because you will drive where you look. The other cool thing we learned, which was a really helpful uh, tip, is that if you're in an understeer situation, right, your initial reaction will be to add more steering input, but you actually wanna unwind that wheel so you can match the wheel speed and the wheel direction to the direction of travel, and that will really help you uh, regain some control. Now, as we enter turn four, are you on the ABS? I feel a little bit of sliding around there on the all-season tire. So right now I'm taking this turn uh, very deliberately and I lost traction and that's because obviously this is not a full winter tire and so you don't quite have the lateral grip that you would in the Blizzak. Uh, the other thing we learned is there, you know, there are basically three ways you can do a turn, right? You can do the apex, which is the way you would do it on a track. You can do an early apex or you can do a late apex. Uh, and with uh, snow conditions and ice conditions, you're better off to do the late apex. Well, you want to basically get all the braking and all the steering done initially so that you're not fighting understeer as you um, enter the exit of a corner which is a bad way of saying that, but you kind of get the idea where you really want to enter slowly on this ice. But the amazing thing is like, it's hard to demonstrate just how slippery these conditions are, but this is something that you would not even be able to do these speeds with, with a typical all season tire that I've experienced. And yet with this uh, new Bridgestone tire, it's handling it really quite well. Yeah, for an all season. And keep in mind, this is not uh, an all weather tire, which is the new set of tires, right? So there's no snowflake rating on it. This is a traditional MS, which I know stands for mud and snow all season. Now, of course, the keen eyed viewers among you will notice that this is not the A spec Acura, but I think for what we're doing today, that shouldn't have too much of an impact because, you know, on the ice, you can only accelerate, brake, and turn so hard, regardless of the calibration of the vehicle. Now, another cool thing which we talked about. Um, even with the performance driving instructors, we were leaving these vehicles in the comfort modes all day, right? And the idea is you do want to get that weight transfer down vertically on the front tires with that softer suspension calibration so that uh, you have, you know, the ability to, to grip and stop with the fronts. If you, you set the suspension up too firm, oftentimes it'll just plow straight ahead. Yeah, the cool thing about the MDX2 Tommy is it has true torque vectoring. Now, there's two kinds of torque vectoring, right? There's a kind where... Uh, it's torque vectoring by brake, and that means that, let's say you're going around a corner and you want the car to turn right, so you want the inside wheels to brake, and the way you can do that is you can brake the inside wheels so that the outside wheels come around. But a better way to do that is you can send more power to the outside wheels, and that's exactly what the MDX does. Yeah, you can overdrive one of the wheels, and it can send power to the back and then split it up left and right as well. Now, initially, I can see there's a lot more confidence. Even going down this straight piece of ice, we're seeing less movement left and right. It feels much happier doing this kind of thing. Yeah, I feel like I've got a lot more control here. Once again, I'm trying to keep that, you know, steer, uh, brake, and accelerate, uh, and not do too or three of those at the same time. <laughs> Actually doing three of those would be crazy hard. Well, I don't think you can brake and accelerate very easily at the same exactly. time. But so, once again, so straight here, put on the brakes right now, Tommy, plenty of grip and then turn. It's kind of fun. Yeah, absolutely. And and um, I mean, you, immediate difference. We were seeing this at our exercises today that the, the, even though that all season's pretty good for an all season in the snow, the dedicated winner will just walk away from it in the turns and even among the braking zones, significantly better performance. Yeah, I feel like I have a lot more control. Um, so once again, late apex, right? Not the way you would take a track. So come around the outside, let the car steer around the turn. And then once you got it straight, uh, apply power and let the 
uh, tires do their thing. Now, of course, the, the Blizzak DMV2, right? Blizzak is a name that goes back here in the States, I think, to 1992. So it's a very well-established name and, and very well-established tire here in the States. And there's a reason for that. If you live in a snowy environment, I know here in America, it, it may seem relatively uncommon to swap out to dedicated winners, whereas in other parts of the world, it's actually mandatory by law. But I would strongly recommend doing it because the difference is just astonishing on how much more grip you are provided and uh, how much more confidence you have. This is a really icy part. I feel the car slide and I'm losing control now. I just let go of the wheel a little bit and I get grip and I go exactly the way I want to go versus the way the car wants to go, which would have been into a bank of ice, Tommy. Now this was a ton of fun. Huge thank you to Bridgestone and Acura for setting this up. We'll kind of discuss our closing thoughts. Now the other interesting thing, which I didn't know, and I, I've really had a lot of great conversations with the instructors today, is that, you know, there's this kind of thinking that in order to have traction in this kind of conditions, you have to have studs, right? But the new studless technology is so good that they've actually told me back to back, the studless tires will perform better even on these kind of conditions than the old school studded yeah. models. And if you're wondering what the difference is between these two, right? The problem from a technical standpoint is that usually when you have a snow tire, the compound starts to melt off after about 44 degrees. So you wouldn't want to run that tire, the Blizzak, the summer because it would actually wear away the tread pattern. Whereas this one, the all season tire, you can run all year round. Yeah, but if you want the ultimate in safety, I mean, here's the reasoning, right? You spend uh, several hundred dollars for tires. Maybe you get a set of dedicated wheels and you're into the low thousands, but that potential accident that you're preventing from having, from having is going to well offset the cost. Now, before we close this video, Tommy, uh, we did get a chance to drive the NSX. Um, around here and that was a little bit more fun. I think we have some video of that. So uh, I'd love to actually show that because if you came here to watch like, you know, snow flying and supercars flying around the track, um, that is exciting and fun to watch, but it's not safe. So, you know, there's this balance that you have to take, but well, we want to give you both. Let's be honest, we're not good enough for those amazing shots. Well, no, and, and if I put this car into <laughs> the snowbank, my face will get tweeted around the world in about two and a half minutes. Wait. So I do not want to be that guy, but this was really fun uh, and it really taught me a lot. How about you? Yeah, I had a great time. Big thank you to Bridgestone, the folks at the driving school and Acura for setting us up and we'll see you on the next vid. Ciao.